it's Beecher. And this is Dungeon Defenders, which I actually got as a gift from Ruby Cephas, who I'll link here somewhere. La -da 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 -da. But yeah, he, I won a contest and he uh, he <clears throat> decided that I might like this game more than the game, what game I won, and he's right. <clears throat> it's a lot of fun, I'll give it that. Uh, it's your basic tower defense, as everyone knows. Um, I cheated a little, and I played online matches, so here I have a, I have a level 9 <laughs> going into my first local match. Uh, so, I have to mention now though, I made a big mistake of... <coughs> I recorded all this video for this, and I forgot to plug my mic in, so I was just chatting to nobody in particular. Okay, so when you start in... Oh, these are some levels, the campaigns. Somehow I skipped some, it's probably my uh, online play. But this is your tavern. And right now, because of uh, the holidays, it's decorated like Christmas. My tavern keep here. <laughs> it's obviously Santa Claus. <laughs> take that, Santa. Take it. Take. Take. Ta oh. oh. <laughs> uh, there isn't much in here. It's my. It's Beecher's tavern. I haven't completed much, so there isn't much in here. So I'm gonna go do. One of the actual missions. The campaign missions. I end up doing servants' quarters here. Oh, come on, stop chatting, Beecher. Oh, because I'm explaining things, yes. I'm explaining that the whole point is of tower defense is to protect whatever's at the center from the mobs coming in, and in this case, it's called an Eternia Crystal. And I got to pick the colors of my Eternia Crystal. Okay, so this is a map that I don't know so well. Um, I do did kind of learn it more as I played along. There's two crystals I have to defend. <laughs> Which I wasn't so happy about, I guess, but you know. So the basics here are <coughs> collect your mana to build resources, or collect your resources, I guess, to build structures and whatnot. And I start off, I believe, here with um, Barricade. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's pretty good for a tower defense. I've, I'm pretty new at tower defenses. I'm new at most games. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, but I mean, I understand the concept of tower defense. So, to me, this is this was, this is a blast to play. Ruby Zephos, see you're right. I do enjoy this very much. So. <laughs> The online game was really good because at least then it's you have help. This is just me versus two, or defending two crystals. Um, so there's all these different entrances as you can see, and there's two modes obviously. There's the build mode that we're in now, and there'll be the combat, combat phase. I guess they're phases: build phase and combat phase. See what I'm doing is collecting these resources to build. <coughs> to keep them back, or to kill them, or to, you know, make them stomp each other. I wish they would stomp each other, but they don't. I have to stomp them. <laughs> so here's me collecting chests, because I'm trying to make sure I have enough mana for everything. So we go with another blockade. Blocking them in there. And then we'll set up a magic missile. Ooh, yeah. I'm telling you, this one sexy magic missile. <laughs> Unlike most, there's waves. As you can see, it's it's wave 3 out of 7. I'm not sure why it starts on wave 3, but it does. And the waves get harder, obviously, as you go through. I think I put that backwards. <laughs> So this is me uh, in the build phase, in the servants' quarters, as you can see. There's a lot of doors for the mobs to come through. 
Uh, there's different kinds of mobs, obviously. There's the smaller mobs that I believe are like goblins in this. There's the big mobs that are like ogres. There's archers. Um, again, I'm still low level, so there's probably more and more mobs. I've seen like healer mobs or healers. Healers that heal the mobs at least, so while you're killing them, they. Oh, look at that, a fireball tower. <laughs> So this is still me setting up on him. It's too bad I didn't save the audio for my video, but you know, <laughs> that's how it goes. Do do do. Do do do. I'm gonna look over here now. I'm gonna go through this little alleyway. Do do. Oh yeah, there's this door. I forgot about this apparently. So here I go, I believe, looking for more mana. Give me a treasure treasure chest full of mana. Come on. Where is the chest? I found the treasure. Give me the treasure. <laughs> Where is it? Here? No. 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 I'm kinda glad that the build fit. Oh, there it is. There's the treasure. I found my treasure. Woot woot woot. Woot woot woot. Okay, I think yeah. And then I lose where I am because I don't know the map yet. <laughs> so yeah, the whole point obviously is to keep the mobs from reaching the crystal. And these are all the different things you can put in the way. Um, they're repairable, they're upgradable. Uh, because of my level, I'm sure I don't have everything yet. I mean, if you look at my bar down there, the, the number is 9 and 0. I can't even use them yet. <laughs> because of my level, so we'll see. We'll see what else there is as it goes along. What am I doing here? I'm blocking. Oh yeah, okay. Apparently I forgot about that spot that I was worried about that I went to get mana for in the first place, but eh, you know, who, who, who needs that? <laughs> I'm gonna put up some magic missiles. All right, I think I'm ready. Doing? Come on, Bicha, get up there. And then yes, to activate. <coughs> Come on, tell me I'm doing it. No, nope. nope, not yet. I need to build some more. Apparently, run in circles. I guess it's my last little check. Just make sure I'm checking out the map, know where they're coming from. Cause you have to. I mean, you do have to know where they're coming from. Um, as usual, I'm, I'm like a mage type character, but there are different classes. Um, there's their usual, there's the other ranged hunter type, there's a monk, which seems to be interesting actually. Uh, I've played with a monk in the online game and, mm. and there's like a tank of course. Alright, so here we go, combat phase, wave 3, or maybe it's wave 4, no I guess it's wave 3. And see this door I left unprotected, so I have to go to it. And protected myself with my little magic wand there. Couple of blam blam. Take that. <laughs> and you see, of course, as they as you kill them, they drop health. They drop mana. There you go. Look at me owning them. <laughs> owning them. <clears throat> so yeah, unfortunately, um, I've been protecting this spot. I can't see the other spot. I'm hoping they're doing well, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I mean, I am concerned. Check, gotta go check them out, and then uh, holy crap, there's a whole bunch of them there. Even though I set up stuff there. For gosh sake. Oh yeah, goodbye. See, there's the archer. Archers hurt a lot. <laughs> they really do. Uh, I, I haven't, what it is is I haven't figured out the right spots for things yet, for the path of the bombs. Still learning, still learning, this is new to me. It's been a lot of fun, but it's new to me. And here's me checking it out, 37 out of 39 are dead anyways, 38. <laughs> Where is the last one? Get him, Beecher. Go get him, man. Find him. You're not. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, there he is. Get him. Oh. 
Well, I do know, because I pre-recorded the video, darr, that I'm about to, uh... Oh look, I leveled up. Never mind, this first. So this is the leveling up system. I have overcharge now. Resistances. Hero stats. Uh, tower stats as well. I do put a layer. I put hero casting rate, defense health, and hero health. I believe is it hero health? Yeah. And there. And now I'm about to. I'm gonna skip this build phase, and I'll run. And I will come back for the next of the uh, next combat phase. Cause why the heck not, eh? <laughs> and fade. <laughs> boom! Chicka chicka boom! And Beecher's back with combat phase wave four. I set up a bunch of defenses in that battle uh, build phase. Uh, I upgraded some. I healed some. Maybe I got a little bit ahead of myself, <laughs> thinking I was rocking it. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. Dun 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 I did get, I have to say, the online play, I had some trouble at first with the view turning. Um, I figured it out. I just, <laughs> as usual, I just spam my little spam 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 spam. Take that, take that, take that. <laughs> So that's the big ogre type I was talking about. They have a lot of hit points. Wave complete. You see that? Wave complete. What a boss. Like a boss. I'm lighting the smoke. That was so good. Ah. <laughs> I didn't notice while I was playing, but I'm noticing now. We just jumped from 60 enemies to 172 enemies. Should have looked at that well in there. <coughs> so this time I do go through the build phase again. Um, <laughs> apparently the two blockades they still filtered through <laughs> everything. <laughs> and here's me trying to put another one. Come on, let me block them further. Come on, come on. I gotta be able to block them further, right? Hell yeah, I can. Motherfuckers. Blah, 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 bow. Have fun getting through that. <laughs> yeah, items I don't even care about. Um, so, repairing, which is always useful. My fireball tower. Yeah, that one I did already. I believe I repaired stuff. But now I've gotten to know the map a little better, so I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna save that mana for what I need it. That chest. Because right now, I mean, I have like full... Look at that. Full. <laughs> I like how that spot, obviously, I didn't even need to... <laughs> that wave was completed so quickly. And here, here, during this stage, now that it's... it's I can do this all in hindsight. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much underestimating the next wave right now. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just set up another couple things. Upgrade some of my defenses. Check out some things. No, I don't need those. Psh, my gear's the shit, because I'm pro. I'm like, yeah, maybe put up one of these here for them. Spin it for some reason. Filter them that way. Checking it out, you know, like, yeah, 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 I got this. I got this. These motherfucking goblins. These motherfucking, motherfucking arches. <laughs> These motherfucking ogres. They ain't getting through my shit. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, they're not. They're not. They're not. Boom, repairing, because I'm a pro. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got the mana to, like, repair stuff and upgrade stuff. I, I, <laughs> I gotta shut up.
To it again, the hindsight's a bad thing for videos. <laughs> if I haven't given anything away yet. Hey, there we go, I got my mana. And some health, apparently, which I didn't need, but... Eh, and some items I don't need. Well, I'm checking out another spot where I obviously killed everything. Every motherfucking thing is dead, thanks to Beecher. Repaired it. <laughs> oh, yeah. What am I doing here? Upgrading? Yep. What am I doing to this one? Upgrading? Upgrading! I'm the upgrade king. I'm like, oh, well, I don't really have enough left for these. Left mana, so I go looking for mana, I do believe. Combat phase starts. I didn't look for mana, and I'm like, yeah, alright. This little blockade, this magic missile thing. And I'm, I'm BDMing. I'm like, yeah, it'll stop these guys. It stopped them last time, right? Last wave. And I, there goes another different blockade was already destroyed. It concerned me, trust me. Look at all these ogres. Here's me just spamming my magic. Like, a crystal's already under attack. How's this under attack? By the archers up there. Look at them. Took me a second to figure it out, but uh, I do. So <laughs> If I was to do this again, I'd put some more blockades there, because, jeez. Ooh! Goblin in my face! Texting and BDMing! So here I am, getting overwhelmed. Very overwhelmed. Such a noob at tower defense, I did not anticipate this wave before the final wave being so much bigger, I guess. Healed myself because I'm almost dead. Here they come. Walking right into my crystal. And I'm really trying to handle it, but I <laughs> having some trouble. Oh man, and here I do go down. I love that. Perhaps there's a better strategy. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm like, oh my god, how do I get to my crystal? Oh, not that one. Nope, where? Ah! These other guys attacking my shit. <laughs> my crystal's health is fading. I go straight for the archers. Because they're a bitch. <laughs> and then I go for the ogres, anybody near it. And kaboom. Just like that. I fail my first match ever. My first local match. <sighs> I have to say the after stuff, there's a lot of cool I'll show in a second, I know I will. <clears throat> there's some really cool uh the information you can have post match. Like here's the waves. <laughs> I mean come on, how cool is that? Enemy spawned. <laughs> And there we go. So this was my Dungeon Defenders game. Thanks to Ruby Zephyrus. Thanks so much, man. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to make more videos. I'll do a multiplayer video uh, soon. Probably after this. And yeah. That's Dungeon Defenders. It's on Steam for... Jeez, who knows right now. During the holidays, there's been so many steals. It's... Steals? <laughs> they are steals. Deals? Steam deals equals deals. It's really cheap. You should get it. It's a lot of fun. It's a good tower defense game. I've seen a few played a couple and yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I'm going to play it some more. We'll see how high up there I can get and how good I can actually get at this game. So yeah, once again, thanks Ruby. I appreciate it. And this is Beecher saying, peace. Happy 2012, people. Laters. <laughs>